Hi everyone, it's Joel again, and today we're looking at the app Live Collage and looking at how we can take a group of photos and make a collage on the iPad using this app. So here we are on my iPad and the app we want is Live Collage Plus, which is here. And when it opens up, it's got all these different options here at the top, um, including poster and pinboard and 3D and things like that. Today what we're looking at is just classic, so I'm just going to tap on classic there. And there are all these different frames, I guess is how you would call it, that you can put your pictures in. Now, these ones that you see at the top are one frames. It says that they're at the top there. And there's also another little number one um, right there as well. So as I scroll and I get through these, you can see now I've got two frames and it says number two. So I know that I've got six photos that I've saved here on the camera roll. So I'm just going to keep scrolling until I get to six. There we go, six. And I'm going to look for one that I like. So I'm looking through these and we've got standard grids and things like that. I might choose this one just for something different. So here we've got how it looks and what I need to do is just press a plus button and add the pictures to there. So I'm going to press a plus button here, choose the camera roll, and what I've got here is I've got six different photos that I took in our indigenous garden because the task I gave the students was to do some close-up photography of nature. And I was very specific. I didn't want people or hands or roads or cars or buildings or anything like that. I just wanted close-up pictures of nature. And I took these pictures just before. It was a bit of a windy day, so they're not exactly um, crystal clear because there, were, there was quite a heavy breeze. But anyway, I choose... One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And they all go down there at the bottom there. Now, if I wanted to, I could repeat one of them or I could take some of these out so you can have a play with that. But that's how you do it. And now you just press this blue start button here and it just puts it in there just like that. Now, if you're happy with that, that's great. If you wanted to do a little bit of slight editing by moving a picture in the frame, maybe zooming it a bit to get the effect that you want like I'm doing there. It's probably better for the flowers more than the trees. Let's make sure, of course, that we don't go outside the frame there. So, yeah, something like that would be nice. Something like that here. Maybe focus on one that's a bit clearer. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Okay, so there we go. So then what we do, there's all these other different options here, which um, because I did this with younger children, sort of seven, eight year olds, I didn't bother going into borders and text and ratios and blurs and things like that. But that's certainly something that you could play around with. Just press save there. I'm saving it. All these different options. Now, obviously, we're not saving this to social media. I'm in a primary school. We don't use social media. So uh, it's already says that it's saved it to the camera roll. So now that it's saved to the camera roll, the students can share their work and maybe upload it to Google Drive, which is what we use, so that it can be printed off on a computer. Let's have a look at the final result. So let's uh, get out of that and let's go to my photos camera roll and let's tap on this last image here and there we go. That's how it looks and that's how it's done. So that's how you create a collage on the iPad using the app Live Collage. It's a fantastic app, which I've only just shown you just a little bit of, but I'm sure with a bit of experimentation, you could find a whole lot of other uses that you could do for your classroom. Thanks very much.